What's up guys, it's Matt or Fwizzle in HD bringing you another Minecraft tutorial and today we are going to make a uh, slime spawner that's in the uh, uh, swamp. So first up you need your F3 out because slimes in swamps only begin to spawn at 51Y and 69. So between those levels, you're good. So I'm gonna build up like, like that's good because that's pretty close to the number. They won't spawn at 70. They only spawn at 69, 51 between those areas. So you could stack this spawner. Probably not gonna get too much out of it, but I mean, it's not too bad. So you wanna, from your center block, you wanna go out seven from each side. So I'll do that and be right back. And we're back. And the next thing you wanna do is fill in this pad. Because these are going to be your paths. It's not going to be like a traditional like mob spawner where you have the water go down the middle. The water is going to go on the outside just to uh, give more area to the spawns because eh, you, you can get some pretty good rates with this but m depends on the moon phase. Uh, if you didn't know this but spawns, I mean slimes spawn best when uh, the moon is full so that means that the moon will look like kind of like the sun where it's just completely full but if it has just like an outer ring around it like that then that means there's no moon and so you're gonna you're gonna you're going to get zero if you're gonna get few if not zero spawns of slime during that and yeah so just just a heads up so you guys aren't like hey why is this not working and well make sure that the right lunar phase is on uh, if you I will leave a link to the Minecraft wiki that tells you all about the slimes because well if you don't read it you're not gonna know too much about them and then then you'll ask me a hundred questions I'll be like I don't know I don't give me a specific example if your game isn't working right like just show me that uh, the game isn't working like make a video response I'll probably look at it and help you fix it like gosh yeah so I'm just gonna finish this up and be right back alright I'm back and this is now done so now we're going to make the water streams so you just wanna go below the spawner by one block and you wanna bring like an outline around the bottom part for the entire way and you'll see how this works in a second it doesn't take too long I mean this is probably one of the, sh the shortest part because you just go in a circle, circle. It's like NASCAR. If only, if only I knew how to place blocks. All right, so we're done. Now you're gonna want to build a one, two, three block high wall from the outside. So it's about this high. I'll do that and I'll be right back. All right. Well, I finished that. So now. We're going to get our water out and place in the four corners just because it's a lot easier to do it now than later. And if you haven't noticed, the water leaves an extra spot right in the middle of each one of them if you did this correctly. So you just pop that out. And that means that when the slimes fall in here, they get swooped down into the four corners which makes collecting them pretty dang easy. So now we need to do the half slab part. This is to make sure spiders don't spawn. So you wanna go half slab every other block. I'm using cobble, well, because I don't know why. I just prefer cobble, so yeah. Just use whatever half slabs you have available. If you have a ton of wood and a wood farm, then yeah, go ahead, use wood doesn't really matter this just prevents spiders from spawning because you don't want spiders jamming up your system man trust me you don't alright now we have to do the roof use the half slabs on the top so the slimes are just under a block so they'll be able to move right through there easily so that's why we're using half slabs and not just normal blocks so the roof takes probably the longest because half slabs are a pain in the butt but they work and I think they say conserve resource I don't freaking yeah they conserve a good amount so yeah I'll finish this real quick alright guys we are finally done well pretty much done all you gotta do now is uh, put these wherever you wanna put them 
I mean the little like uh, the little chamber of secrets where all the <laughs> uh, Harry Potter this is uh, just how you link all your stuff together this part's pretty basic I mean you can link it all going like make them all like drop this down a block like drop it down at this level and make it go and like move it over here or you can have them all filter to the center I mean it really just it's all personal preference you can move them wherever you want to move them okay I'm gonna have to create a little underground base just for that's the middle right yeah so have them drop down into here yeah that works for me so I'm just gonna finish putting oh and make sure that you put your put water on this pretty early in the process or else it takes oh, it just sucks to do it after uh, you can like block it off down there but I mean it it just sucks later because then you have to go into the system and everything so quick tip <laughs> do that so uh, I'll uh, finish the tubing and be right back alright guys I'm back and uh, building is completely done I filled in all the things and the um, rates are not too bad and I haven't lit up any caves there are around 10 in there probably good amount up there but anyways, that concludes this tutorial, and if you want, want XP, you can just hit them and kill them and get loads of XP. Don't break the fence gate, or else... Uh, yep, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.